Officials are planning to expand a smaller airport somewhere in western Washington to meet demand for commercial travel. But advocates in one community say a whole new airport is the only solution to prevent more noise and pollution noises, pollution issues. Q13's Frankie Thompson is in Burien to hear their concerns. One of the best views of airplanes passing Mount Rainier is from the city of Burien. Though it's a unique site, Debbie Wagner doesn't want to see another SeaTac caliber airport in the middle of a community. She's a member of Quiet Skies Coalition in Burien and says they've been fighting the international airport on air traffic noise and pollution issues in the city for years. When we're being exposed to these various pollutants, the noise and emissions on a constant basis all day long every day, we don't know what the safe level is. These are concerns she worries other communities may soon experience. If you spread the problem out, you might lessen our impact somewhat, but you're going to impact somebody else who's going to have the same problems we have. WASHDOT's Commercial Aviation Coordinating Commission is planning for potential expansions at an airport. It's an effort to meet the state's demand in commercial travel. Wagner says making an existing airport bigger is not the solution. One of many answers, possibly, is to build a new airport. Earlier this year, during the first phase of planning, the commission listed six airports as prospects for the expansion. Now in phase two of planning, the commission is working to narrow down the choice to two cities, ultimately leading to a vote for one airport. Wagner says the only choice that should be considered is a new airport in a remote location. You have to build it in a way that puts it out away from populations and away from where it's going to impact people. And then other things you can do is you can build systems into that new airport to uh, suck out the emissions that are coming from the tail of the plane. The commission says it will base its final decision on a number of criteria, including available land, proximity to transportation, and environmental concerns. Wagner says whatever the choice is, she hopes the community won't feel the impact like hers. Frankie Thompson, Q13 News. The Aviation Commission will have more meetings leading to a vote for one location to receive the expansion, and the winning airport must receive 60% of the vote.